Hello, I'm Patrick Stewart, theater genius. Late last year, I found unsuccessful New York playwright Chester Winkle dead in his extended stay hotel room. Among his belongings were a hot plate, a stack of Baby Gap catalogs, and 12 American Dad episodes he had written for the stage in one cocaine-fueled night. They were literally the finest collection of words ever put to paper. And now, we're proud to present the only one of Mr. Winkle's plays I didn't eat out of sheer jealousy, Blood Crieth Unto Heaven. <laughs> will be here any moment. Do you think he'll like my gift, Mother? If it's anything like you, sweet Stephen, I'm sure he'll adore it. Lord, it's warm. Devil farted thick today. We got a face full, didn't we? Edna, be a good girl. Run downstairs and give the air conditioner a kick, won't you? Yes, ma'am. Whew. Edna. Yes, Miss Haley? How is everything? Just fine, Miss Haley. Everything and everyone is just fine. Haley, it's been a super long time. I miss you. I miss us. Having a ton of sex. You look tired. Smith residence, Francine speaking. You silly, stupid girl. Hello, Betty. Does this mean you won't be coming to your only son's birthday party? There's a reason Stan hasn't celebrated his birthday since he was a child. Why couldn't you just leave well enough alone? Enough! You and I have a very strained relationship, and we both know it! Oh, yes, we do. He's here! The guest of honor is here! Francine, get my fender sponge. I hit another dog driving home. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday! No! No, 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 no! Stan, everybody's here to celebrate your birthday. Well, send them all home. Because as far as I'm concerned, I don't have a birthday. No, everybody stay, please. Dan, put on some music. This party could use a little dancing. Southern trees bear a strange fruit. What has gotten into you? I said no birthdays! But why? Why? I'll tell you why. But understand, the why I'm talking about isn't the place where poor people learn to swim and gay drifters rule the showers. I remember everything about it so clearly. I was eight. It was the last time I had a birthday party. And you know what my biggest memory of that party was? Not the cake, not the presents. It was my dad packing up and walking out on us. <laughs> Daddy, no, don't go! <laughs> Daddy! Stan! I never knew. Yeah, but I'm glad he's gone. He was a thief, and now he's in jail where he belongs. Daddy, would you like to open my gift now, Daddy? Not now, son. Damn this birthday. Damn it straight to hell. <laughs> this birthday's ruined. Not just yet, little Klaus. Not just yet. Dolores, connect me to the 